Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Dominion Gaming TV. My name is Wolf. Today I'm bringing to you some more StarCraft 2 casts from Carnage. Let's introduce our two players. We have ourselves spawning in the top right hand side on Planet S Neo something or other. He is Protoss, he's in the blue. His name is Kesa. And his opponent. This morning, as the red in the bottom left hand side, he is one of the Terran bosses of Carnage. His name is Smog. Alright, let's get into this cast and listen to some epic Terran music because everyone has to agree that Terran music is the best. Really, you have to, there's no doubt that, that Terran music is the best, but just speaking about music in general for StarCraft, I think um, the new music that they added into HOTS just added a whole new level of uh, epic. So what's actually going to happen here? This is kind of crazy. He's putting down a pylon. This could be some form of cheese here. We've got to be very careful though. Now, uh, Smug not going to lose the uh, the uh, SCV and he's going to pull it back. But what is he doing? He's going to be proxying gateways. What the hell is this? This is crazy shit right here. So. Right off the bat, we're going to have ourselves an entertaining game, that is for sure. Barrett's going to be going down straight away. Let's see what actually happens with this. Well, it seems this is going to be the one gateway, but uh, Sm if Smug can uh, wall off, he'll be perfectly fine here, because he'll be able to get up the uh, wall, and some Marines can shoot from behind the wall. So I'm not exactly sure what he's looking to, to do here. He's getting a forge as well, so he's going to be going all of the all-ins right now. So this is kind of crazy. Straight off the bat, this is intense already. Probe just going to be uh, zapping down onto that uh, supply depot, like all probes should, doing whatever it can, but will not be able to do anything. Gateway has now finished. Zealot going to be coming out straight away. Barracks has finished itself. Chrono Boost is going into that uh, Zealot, so the Zealot will come out pretty quick here. It needs to be getting down that bunker and marine ASAP. Now, Photon Cannon does go down on the low ground. This is probably a bad location for the bunker. The bunker probably can't hit the Photon Cannon. Now, uh, the bunker is going down, though. The Marine will be coming out here. He needs to be very careful. He obviously sees the Photon Cannon, so he needs to be careful of that. Now, the Zealots can be attacking this uh, Supply Depot, so the SCVs will have to be pulled here. Supply Depot is going down at the back. An additional Photon Cannon does go down. Some probes are being uh, SCVs are being pulled so that he can survive. This Marine doing whatever it can. we be putting fire down onto the Zealot. The Zealot, it, now the Photon Cannon does actually end up finishing. The Cannon is going to fire up at the high ground and the Pylon will go down, but two Marines in the bunker will be enough, I do believe, for the time being. Now the Barracks is getting shot at. He will move it back for the time being. But uh, more Zealots can be morphed in here. The Bunker will be able to shoot off anything that tries to come at him. Now uh, this Supply Depot will go down, uh, Command Center will actually go down here, I'm not sure if this is the right choice here, but he will get it. The Bunker should be able to stay alive for the time being, he is Supply Capped though, he cannot get additional Marines until he gets another Supply Depot down here, he is heavily Supply Blocked here. The Kesa doing an intense sort of build here, has a backup pylon if need be. Let's see what happens of this, will he get a, uh, will he build a, uh, a thing to get a uh, supply, a, a uh, wow, cybernetics core to get some stalkers out. Stalkers would be great in this situation to pick off the marines and the bunker and whatnot. Now Nexus is going down, so this is probably that is probably was his uh, opening idea just to get that Nexus down as an as an opener. Now these zealots are going to be running around to the back here and they're going to be doing uh, going to try and go for the uh, mar marines here. I mean for the. Uh, SCVs, but the Marines do scan it. He does have the epic skin though. He's going to go back into the bunker and focus fire down onto this one Zealot. The Zealot will go down. But the Zealot in the mineral line will be doing some damage. The Marine will come in. The Marines will come in here and uh, come in and clean off the Zealot. The Zealot will probably get one more kill, but that is about it. Almost getting another. But these two cannons down here are going to be a bit scary. He'll need to get some sort of marauders. Actually, I think he should be able to shoot them from the high ground now that he, there is no high ground vision for Kesa. He needs to be very careful though. Uh, uh, Marines aren't in the bunker. Should be able to uh, get him down to at least uh, HP now. That is exactly what happens. So he's going to come in from the top here, try and uh, not take any damage from the uh, Photon Cannon, but it is not going to be the case. Two gas are being taken down here at the natural as well as the Cybernetics Core. Smog in a bit of uh, trouble right here, right now. He's uh, just building SCVs and pilot and uh, and getting up the Marine cannon. He needs to be able to kill off the uh, Marine, which uh, the Zealot, which is exactly what happens. Now he's able to shoot on the photon cannons from the high ground, and uh, this uh, push is effectively denied right now. 
so uh, the, the Zealot is being uh, Corona boosted out but here, but it might be too little too late if the Marines get down there in time, which is exactly what's going to happen. Let's have a look what happens here. They're going to focus fire down onto the pylon. The pylon will go down, but not in time for the gate. The, the Zealot, the Zealot is cancelled. Two pylons going down at the front, uh, two cannons, sorry, going down at the front here. Stim also on the way for Smug. I just realized Smug did change his name from uh, something like C E C E C E C E C E Smug to uh, X if they're alternating X's. So his name is equally as bad as what it was before. So I, I really, seriously can't uh, give him that. It's a bit unforgivable. But his name change is not what I'm worrying about here. Actually, he's got quite a commanding lead right now if you have a look at it, his units. He does have uh, slightly less SCVs, but he actually has units on the map to be able to put on pressure. The cannon should be enough for the time being. Okay, is on the way. But Stargate play is going to be Case's game right now, getting additional gateways as well. Pylon uh, did get snapped down here and uh, will cause Case to build more. Four gateways, so he's going. He's going to go a bit all in here. I do believe there's no way he's going to be able to uh, go off of uh, one, one stargate and uh, five gateways unless he is going for an, uh, a, an all in here. He's getting additional gateways, so this is going to be kind of crazy. Kate, uh, Smug will need to attack sometime soon to be able to put on the pressure, but he just can't at the moment. There's three cannons out the front, and it's going to be too little, too late unless he can even stim in there and kill it off. But I doubt that is the case. He does see the two cannons there and will back off. Decides against it. He could just uh, expand here. That is a possibility. Expanding um, would actually be quite uh, quite easy for him to do while the Protoss is building up here. But then again, he needs the production to be able to fight against this. So turret at the front to deflect any sort of DG play. Factory is now coming down for Smug. Smug looking to get into those medevacs to go into some drops. Missile turrets going around the base just to be able to deflect any sort of oracle play, but oracles is not going to be what's happening. Let's see what happens here. A lot of gateways here will be able to get down a lot of units if need be. Looks like he's going to go Zealot Void Drive, which is a uh, pretty good mixture, but then again, the uh, Marines just will be able to out DPS it, and uh, with Stim and Medivac, they will be able to fall back. Speaking of Medivac, Starport is on the way, as well as the reactor on the factory, which indicates he is going to be swapping that over. Twilight Council is also on the way, so DTs are a possibility, but Storm is more than likely what is going to happen here. Storm Voidray is kind of OP, I do believe, but then again, I am only a noob, so I don't know that. Combat Shield almost done here. Plus one attack is on the way here for Kaser. As well as the plus one tack for the um, uh, bio weapons here. We have a look at the army. Total of seven zealots, two warriors, and one uh, one sentry versus the 27 marines and five marauders of smug here. And the void ray it did try and come in here, but the marines are here. Stim and they do snipe off the void ray. The void ray goes down. It was a great pickup here for Carnage Smug. More zealots being morphed in here. He doesn't really have the economy to be producing off of this. I don't understand why he got so many gateways if he's not going to be producing it. Boy Dragon are coming in here to the north side of Smug's base. Charge is on the way. Charge is uh, deciding to go zealot charge. Where's that scan? It is somewhere. I don't understand, but oh well. Marine up here on the north side as a scout. Voidray just sitting over here. Gonna be coming in here for a bit of a for a bit of attack. Comes in here, sees the missile turret. We'll have to back off, but he does move over to the side of it. He will be able to put on a bit of pressure onto the uh, Voidray. I mean, onto the uh, supply depot. But the Marines will force it back. It's on really low HP right now. This uh, Marine did fall back. He would be able to kill it, but doesn't know its location. Pylons being mo moved out all across the map. It's going to be setting up for a big push here. Zealot Charge is almost finished as well as plus one armor is now being started. Plus one armor for Smug is also being started right now. Intense music is rising, but Smug is going to be moving out here. He's got a lot of Marines and a lot of Marauders uh, uh, and a few Marauders here. This is exactly the force that he needs. 
going to be dancing around the opposite sides of the map. This could go into a base race right now. Plus one air weapons is also on the way for Kesa. Scan does go down somewhere. I need to set that up so I know where the, the scan is. Now, he does see the armor here. Kesa decided to back off here. Zealot's going to come in here, but there is no charge. Charge isn't done yet. The, the stim, and he does fall back here. He is able to uh, micro his marines back a bit. The zealots are just melting to the marine marauder force, and the charge does end up finishing, but it's too little too late. Smug's army is already here and coming in here. Stims and kills off all of the void rays. And we're going into the front of um, Case's army. He does slash dance. Bit of BM here from Smug, but that's okay. He's going to come in stimming here, killing off all of the marine, uh, all the zealots. The void rays are coming, coming up here from the top. We'll focus fire down the medevacs, but it's good. But the, the marine marauder are coming in here. It's going to stim up to the north and try and shoot down the void rays. The two void rays do go down. Another one pops out, but he will be able to focus fire that down. He does not actually go for it. Six marines and two marauders are now being uh, uh, are on their way, but six zealots as well. These cannons are here, but one, only one cannon went down. These um, uh, uh, proxy cannons will end up going down here. Smug is in a commanding lead right now, getting to plus two attack with that second engineering bay, and is probably looking to expand in the near future. Alrighty then, let's see what Kesa can do right now. In this situation, is kind of intense. The zealots. They now have charge, and that is a thing, but there's no a no AoE, he has nothing to verse this army. Hellbats are being produced now to, to combat the large number of zealots. It's going to be very scary for Kesa. Smug is just getting the army he needs to face this zealot count. The marines are just too strong right now. They're going to be doing so much damage. Their DPS is a lot. Now... The Marine will stim in here and kill off the probe before it can build anything. But it will die a terrible, terrible death. The Zealots will come in here and kill it off. Smug looking to do another push here. That's exactly what he wants to do. He's got a massive army here. We have been shown that he can micro against this army. Now sentries are here, so force fields are going to be in the play. Scan does go down. Zealot's going to be coming in here. Stim, uh, he's going to start a stepping as best as he can. Now the army is going to be coming in here, and it's a tight screw. The Zealots are not getting a good flank on them at all. It's just going to sit there and kill off all of the Zealots. They're going to move in and focus fire down on the Voidra. The Voidra is going to be trying to fall back here. It's going to be too little, too late. Now Smug is going to be coming in here into the natural, killing off Voidra, killing off cannons, going to be killing off pylons. And now the army of Kaiser is just being shot down before it can even be warned. Then GG is called and Smug takes this game away from Kesa. What an intense game starting off with a proxy gateway and cannon rush into this uh, commanding lead from Smug here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name has been Wolf. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.